In the ever-evolving landscape of digital marketing, one trend has really taken center stage, social media stories. These are fleeting 24-hour posts that really can become this powerful tool for your brand or your business. But why are stories so popular? Well, the answer really lies in their short-lived nature. So stories offer a fresh, engaging way for audiences to be connected to you. And they really provide this sense of urgency and intimacy that traditional posts just can't match. And this has really led to a surge in their use across various social media platforms. So you'll see stories everywhere from Instagram and TikTok to Facebook and even LinkedIn. And stories have become this real staple for social media marketing. But how can you harness the power of stories in your own business? How can you create compelling copy, creating stories that will really resonate with your audience? These are the questions that I really want to dig in today, as well as the real psychology behind why stories are so popular, what the best practices for creating visually appealing and engaging stories is, and also how to craft a social media strategy that includes stories and how to measure the success of your stories. It's a lot, but it's good, and I hope you stick around. Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. I'm your host, Jenny Lyon, and today I'm really excited to talk about how you can use social media stories in your marketing. Let's jump into it. So before we really dig into the strategies behind stories and the best practices, let's first talk about what are social media stories. So again, they're really short visual posts that appear on your social media platform for a very limited time, usually about 24 hours. And they can include anything from photos and videos to text to even interactive elements. And they're displayed usually at the top of your user feed, which makes them highly visible and highly engaging. But what makes stories so compelling to users? Well, it really lies in the psychology behind storytelling. So as we know, stories have been a part of our human culture for centuries, and they're a really powerful way to convey information and evoke emotions. So in the context of social media, stories really tap in to that love for narratives, and they offer a sequential easy to digest format that's really perfect for short attention spans and that's what we're dealing with today. And they really provide this raw, unfiltered glimpse into the lives of others and really foster that sense of connection and intimacy. And another key aspect of stories is their short-lived nature, where they disappear within that 24 hours. That can really drive some sense of urgency, and it really pulls viewers in because they know once it's gone, it's gone. So it can boost your engagement rates. And it also encourages regular posting, which will keep your business, your brand, top of mind for your audience. And that temporary nature of stories really allows you to be more casual. You can be more spontaneous in your content. And it's a really great way to help your business seem more relatable and authentic. And the impact of stories is not just in the user engagement. The numbers really do back it up. According to Instagram, over 500 million users engage with Instagram stories every single day. And there's a survey by Meta found that 62% of people said that they became more interested in a brand or a product after seeing it in stories. And one in four millennials and Gen Zers look for stories for the different products or services that they want to buy. So these stats really highlight that immense potential for stories as a marketing tool. So I thought I'd dig in a little bit more to how we can explore and how to really tap into this potential and use stories in your own marketing. So now that you kind of understand the power of social media and the power of social media stories, let's discuss how you can craft really successful stories. 
So the first step is really to come up with a strategy that aligns your stories with your overall marketing goals. So you really need to ask yourself, are you looking for brand awareness? You know, what are you looking for? You might want to focus your content on really engaging, shareable stories that reach a wide audience. So perhaps you're aiming to drive sales. In that case, you could use stories to showcase your products and your services or even highlight special offers. I do this with a lot of clients when we're running any type of promotion. We'll have stories that run throughout the entire promo period because they pop up over and over again at the top of the feed. And it's a really great way to not only pull in that customer engagement, but it's that interactive elements. That really is a fun way to pull people in. So it might be asking them questions or polls, that type of thing. But you don't want to just post stories and nothing else. It really should be part of your overall social media strategy so that you're kind of working all of your different angles to the same objective, if that makes sense. And next up, you really wanna consider the platform you're using, right? So each of the social media platforms has its own unique features and its own audience. So for example, Instagram stories, you know, Instagram is really known for their creative tools, right? They have a lot of filters and stickers, but they also allow for shoppable posts. So again, this makes it really good for e-commerce brands. That's why when we're doing promos for clients and their audiences on Instagram, we do a lot of stories. Whereas on the other hand, if you're doing Facebook stories, then you're really appealing to an older demographic. And this also integrates seamlessly with Facebook's other features, right? So like groups or events, where TikTok, that's for a younger audience usually. And they offer a unique format and different types of you know, features that really appeal to that younger generation. So you really have to understand the different social media platforms, the different target audiences, and how to really utilize those together so it all fits seamlessly. Next up is it really is helpful if you create a content calendar for your strategies. So again, when it comes to your marketing, even when it's we're talking about stories, consistency is key. So you want to ensure that you're posting on a regular basis, and that's where a content calendar can be really helpful. A content calendar can help you to outline the different types of content that you'll post, when you'll post it, which platforms you'll post it on. And a content calendar is great for planning ahead, and that way you can maintain a steady stream of stories and really a ensure that your stories align with your overall marketing efforts. So I do have a content calendar that you can grab at jennylion.com forward slash content calendar. It will be perfect to map out those stories. So jump over and download that. So next step is it's really important to measure the success of your stories, right? All of the social media platforms provide analytics. So you can see what your stories are doing, how are they working. So you can see how many people viewed your story, how long they watched it, what actions they took. And it's a great way to see how your stories perform over time. So you can really identify trends or if you need to adjust your social media strategy as you move forward. So remember, the goal is not to only get views, but it's really about getting people to engage with your content and ultimately drive some sort of action. So when you're looking at your analytics, make sure that you're really paying close attention to those metrics like completion rate, click-through rate, and interactions. You really want to track your metrics. This way you can continually refine that social media strategy and maximize your return on your investment and your time. Okay, now I thought we could talk a little bit about the best practices for creating engaging and visually appealing stories because it really is an art and it requires a really good understanding of your audience and it requires you to be a little bit creative and be able to tell a story. So let's jump into some of those. So visual storytelling really plays this really critical role when it comes to your brand's narrative. So again, it's not just about posting images or videos, it's really about telling a story. And that story really does need to resonate with your audience. 
So it could be the story of your brand, your products, or even your customers. But the key is really to create this narrative that's consistent, that it's engaging, and it aligns with your brand values. So for example, I have a client where their focus is sustainability, and that's really the core value of their brand. So in stories, we share a lot of their eco-friendly practices. I have another client where their brand is about luxury. So their stories really do showcase the premium quality of their products. So you really want to remember that stories are a reflection of your brand. You want to make sure that you convey the right message and that you're telling the right story. And creating compelling content for your stories is very important. So let's dig into a few tips that will help you do that. So first things first, keep those stories short and sweet. That short-lived nature of stories really means that your users want to view them quickly. So you want to get to the point fast, but you also want to keep your audience engaged. Next up is you want to really create high quality visuals. So no blurry images, no shaky videos. You know, you don't want anything that's going to distract from your message or make your brand seem unprofessional. Next up is you really want to re reinforce that messaging. So remember, not everyone watches stories with the sound on. You know, a lot of people look at stories when they're at work or when they shouldn't be or in public. So make sure that your messages come across even without audio. So if you need to put captions or some sort of text, you know, make sure that you're doing that. And of course, don't forget to show your personality. You know, brands really should show that personality because that's what really makes you stand out and shine through all of the noise. So whether you're using humor, you're using some sort of behind the scenes peaks or even candid moments, when you can show that human side, it really does help your audience to connect with you on a deeper level. Next up is to utilize the interactive features that all of these social media platforms provide. Because if you can get your audience engaging in an interactive way, then it will boost the engagement of your stories. So uh, some different ways to do that could be quizzes or polls or even questions. These features will make not only your stories engaging, but it encourages your audience to interact with the content and take some sort of action. So for instance, you could use a poll to ask your audience their opinion on a new product that you're gonna be rolling out. Or you could use one of their little question stickers to conduct a Q&A session. Remember, the more that you can get your audience to interact with that story, the more likely they are to remember you, your brand, and your products or services and of course your messaging. All right, so when you're curating content, you could also use story highlights. This is a way where you can keep and organize all of your best content. It allows you to save those stories beyond the 24 hour period. This way, if your followers miss it, they can catch up by going through those highlights. And it's a really fun way to highlight particular things in your business. So it could be a highlight of all of your product line or a highlight of events that you have coming up, that type of thing. And highlights are one of the first things that people see when they visit your profile. So again, make sure that they represent your brand well, they provide value to your audience. Next up is to adapt your content for your different audience segments, because you probably do have different audiences for your business. And different audience segments will respond to different types of content. So for example, if you do have an audience segment that's a younger audience, then they will definitely prefer fun, lighthearted content. While older audiences will probably prefer content that's more informative or value driven. So understanding your audience and their preferences is really key to creating effective stories. So you might need to adapt your content to the different audience segments. So it could mean that you're just mixing it up so that the messaging is a little bit different for the different age groups, or if it's different locations or interests, you want to kind of mix it up for that. But remember, the more relevant your content is to your audience, the more engaging it will be to them. So you really do want to take that time to understand your audience and tailor your content to their needs and their preferences. 
Now, here's a little thing that I didn't think I would mention, but I've had some issues with it lately with a couple of clients where they're using music that's not licensed to be used. So when it comes to using music or images or even video content, make sure that you're aware of the legal considerations. So again, you can't just use any music track in your story. You have to ensure that you have the rights to use that music. The same goes for your imagery and even your video content. So you want to ensure that you have the rights to use the content. And if you're unsure, then just make sure that you're using royalty-free music, images, or video content. There's a lot of sites out there that offer that type of content for free, like Pixabay, those type of things. You really want to make sure that whatever you're using is legal to use, or better yet, create all of your own. Now I thought I'd touch on some case studies on brands that I've seen in social media that are doing a really great job with stories to kind of give you some samples. So these are brands that you're going to be very familiar with and it should give you some valuable insights and inspiration for creating your own stories. So the first brand is Airbnb. So Airbnb uses stories to showcase unique listings and experiences available through their platform. So these stories really do promote and feature stunning visuals and engaging narratives. So again, it's not just about promoting their listings. It's about creating a brand narrative that's very strong. Um, another brand that has used stories really effectively is Nike, right? So Nike uses stories to showcase their products in action. Their stories will often feature athletes or influencers who are using their products. Again, this not only promotes their products, but it really, really creates that strong brand image. Okay, so some other brands that have used stories in really innovative ways are brands such as Ben & Jerry's. This is one of my favorites. So Ben & Jerry's uses stories to launch new flavors. So recently they created a series of stories that teased a new flavor, which really built some anticipation amongst their followers. And when the flavor was finally released, it was a really big hit. Um, another one that I've seen is Starbucks. Starbucks uses stories a lot when they promote holiday themed content. So they created a series of stories that featured their holiday drinks and their holiday food, food items. So this not only promoted their holiday menu, but it really helped to create and foster this festive energy. And it was so much fun for people. And these case studies really do show you the power of stories and brand storytelling. So you really do wanna make sure that that's a part of your marketing campaigns. And as we kind of look ahead to the future of social media marketing, you know, it's only gonna get better and better. We're gonna see new features and trends because they're constantly emerging and they really do provide us with new ways to connect with our audiences. So you really do wanna kind of keep your finger on the pulse of these trends and make sure that you're incorporating them into your social media strategy. I also thought I would outline some of these upcoming trends. So as you're mapping out your content calendar that you're gonna download, you can start to integrate some of these ideas. So you're gonna see a lot more you know, stories for e-commerce. So if you're an e-commerce brand, definitely start doing more and more stories. And Instagram are in, is introducing new features that obviously allow you to shop directly from stories. And this will really allow for more of that seamless shopping experience. So people don't have to click off and go somewhere else to, to shop. And you're gonna see more interactivity. So when it comes to quizzes and polls and those type of things, you're gonna see more and more of the different types of features that engage people. So as we've seen, social media strategies and marketing, oh my gosh, such a powerful tool for your business. And stories is definitely one that if you aren't incorporating it into your business now, you definitely wanna add it in. It will definitely boost your engagement. It will enhance your brand storytelling and it will drive more results for you. I've seen this time and time again with clients who up until working with us, we're just doing regular social media content 
Once we added in stories and reels into their strategy, we've seen a huge difference. And again, they should complement, not replace your other online marketing efforts. So I know we covered a lot today, you know, so much from understanding the impact of stories and how to create a strategy that includes them and really diving into the best practices and techniques and even future trends. But remember, the key to success with stories is to be authentic, engaging, strategic, and consistent. You want to make sure that your audience is always at the heart of the stories that you create. So it's really up to you. Sit down, download the content calendar. Again, you can grab it at jennylioncom forward slash content calendar and start to map out your stories. Think about the insights and the strategies that we talked about today and how you can implement them into your own stories for your own business. And experiment with different types of content. Try some of the interactive features and remember to keep storytelling in all of your messaging. Do this for even a week, then measure your results. This way you can see what content did really well, what didn't, and you can really continue to refine that strategy. So give it a try, but most importantly, just have fun with it. You know, stories are a great way to show the human side of your business and really connect with your audience. And I would love it if you tag me on any of your stories. I would love to see them, give you any type of feedback. And of course, if you need any type of help with your social media marketing, social media advertising, you know, whatever it is that you need, please reach out. I'm always happy to answer any questions that you have. And you can do so at jennylioncom forward slash chat with Jenny. But either way, I hope that you found these tips on creating stories for your social media helpful. Again, I would love to see them. So please tag me or send me a DM. I'll check them out, give you some feedback. But either way, I'll see you next time on another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. See you soon.